So we orbited just fine, but let's take it up a notch. Let's, uh, hey, there goes my rocket. Woo! That's pretty cool. That distracted me, but that was pretty cool. Why did that fall to Earth? Oh, because I decelerated. That's right. I was like, it should be in orbit right now. That doesn't make any sense. Ah, makes perfect sense. All right. All right, satellites. <laughs> the trick to a satellite is uh, we have to, well, first of all, we need the satellite. So let's, let's take our rocket, set it aside. Let's design this thing first of all. Uh, we'll get our decoupler, and then we'll get our SAS. Now we have to return. So the last, the very top of our rocket needs to be our return rocket. So we need to put a solid booster. I'm going to use a solid booster because it's lighter and we don't need a whole lot to get us back to Earth. We just, just need enough. All right, let's get now, here's our decoupler. And we're going to use our satellite and just another command and control center. Um, and we're going to need a lot more rocket, actually. This isn't enough because look at all the, we added. We added all this up here. So that's not going to be quite enough. So we're going to need to add ourselves one more in this stage. Add you down here. We're going to need take you off. We're going to need one more in... Oops, messed that up. Let's try this again. I don't want all of that. I just want this. There we go. One more in this stage. And hopefully that will be enough for us. So the goal is to get into orbit, drop this off, and uh, make it back safely. And hopefully, oops, forgot to turn my SAS on. Hope I didn't ruin that. Guess we'll find out. So, the goal is to not mess up like that. <laughs> Let's try that again. We're gonna relaunch that. Turn my SAS on that time. This rocket's pretty, pretty hairy. Just because it's so tall, it's gonna wobble back and forth. Even then, I'm gonna try to fight this just a little bit. Basically, these solid boosters um, are just trying to get our liquid boosters high enough in the atmosphere that the gravity and the wind resistance. Uh, is low enough that we can still accelerate and hopefully we can do that so we're launching off continuing up and you can see we're actually decelerating just a little bit um, and so hopefully we'll end up overcoming this whoa we're way going way off and will we make it yes we're accelerating now very good all right so we're going to continue going up and fighting this rocket once again we're going to try to orbit um, and then we're going to drop this satellite off, and it's very similar. The only difference is we just have to make sure um, that we don't uh, make any huge mistakes. Because every mistake you make, every you know slight error that you make, just gets magnified. Because this rocket is so much bigger. It's just a a big wobbly explosion waiting to happen. Basically, um, check my fuels. Yeah, we're doing good. Um, this is something that I hope to see in the the full game, um, sending up raw or sending up satellites, and especially satellites of different weights, because I think it'd be pretty awesome that when uh, instead of sending up you know just a small unit, you get to send this massive unit up and put that in orbit, um, and then put it in so that its orbit has to be within certain degrees, and you get more money for how close you get it to it, and I think it'd be so much fun. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to this game. Um, the unfortunate part of this game is it really makes for the most boring Let's Plays ever. Here we look, a rocket flying into space. One thing I'll note is that um, every time you add something to the top of your rocket, it means that everything on the, all the way down has to be multiplied. So we added one rocket here, which means we added one here, which means we added three here, and we almost had to add an extra solid booster rocket or two low enough or on, on the first stage just because uh, we weren't going to be able to make it. So I've um, been chatting, have been a little higher than I mean to be, um, and so I'm going to really crank this uh, orbit quite a bit, and hopefully we'll do all right. 
So we're really cranking this uh, this rocket on over. We're almost done with the second stage. Whoa, come on back. Come on back. And you can see it's very wobbly. It's very hard, very, very hard to control. Um, even with the SASs. And sometimes the SASs actually don't help at all. Um, we're still in the atmosphere. We're not accelerating terribly much, but that's not a big deal. We just want to get us up at a good angle to the right direction. Whoa, whoa, go back. And the whole time you just kind of have to struggle getting this on here. One of the things you notice is you really want to try while you're getting your angle. Um, you do the best acceleration when you are pointing over your direction. Otherwise, you're sort of just fighting yourself. And so here I'm sort of fighting myself to go up when I actually want to go more over. And so I'm starting to get out of the atmosphere. So I'm going to lean this critter on over, take my SAS off, fight this thing, and crank that out, turn that SAS on, crank it next level. And so now we're just trying to accelerate. We're out of the atmosphere. Um, I'm just trying to get us out of here. Sometimes it gets really bad, depending on how you build your rocket, so much so that you can't even control your rocket without the SAS. Like, you just can't put enough manual controls in, even in space. It's... It's really ridiculous. And this one's pretty bad. Um, the, the one where I built the rocket to send the satellite um, into an escape uh, velocity, that one was about the worst of them all. Uh, just because that rocket was just so tall and so big and it had so many rockets, it was just unbelievable. Um, so here, we're just accelerating. I'm a little higher than I mean to be, so I'm going to point down just a tiny bit and hopefully we have enough uh, fuel and speed to make us out of here. Um, we're getting a little close to the horizon, so I'm going to bounce us back up. Whoa, come on. Got to fight this rocket. Um, I don't really have a target for this one just to put it into a decent orbit. Um, I'd like to get it between 50 and 75,000, which we're doing pretty good. Or 50 and 75 kilometers. Uh, I'm used to saying feet for everything, so it makes it a little more difficult. And so we're doing all right. We're still going up, which is fine because we still need to accelerate. Um, there's just a lot of stuff to push up there, and that's really the, the reason why it's taking so much longer. Um, whereas before, we'd probably be into orbit by now. We're still accelerating so that we can get in there. We still have, we're doing pretty good on fuel, which is pretty nice. Um, and so here we're starting to get to the point we're about to decelerate or to, to descend. Um, and so we're actually doing pretty good. I'm going to point the uh, the engine up just a tiny bit, uh, and we're just hopefully get uh, things rolling fast enough. Like I said, uh, this is going to make for some interesting let's plays. It's going to be a lot of talking with my satellite video where I I took it out of orbit, or actually mean out of uh, into escape velocity. I actually had to chop a bunch of pieces out because I knew it was going to be so boring because it was like 10 minutes just to go up into space and then like 60 minutes for the whole the whole thing so it was just kind of ridiculous and so here we're starting to reach our target speed um, we're we are um, going up slightly which is fine um, one thing I can do here at this point is I can actually wait um, for this to start heading down and then accelerate to my speed. And that's what I normally do for these orbits. Um, but this is pretty good. I like this. Um, and so I'm going to take the SAS off. We've got a pretty good orbit, a pretty good height. This is actually really good. This is going to be pretty close to our um, our targets. Um, and so we're going to spin us around, and we're just going to get rid of everything. You can see here we needed that extra rocket, that did help just enough. We might have gotten gotten away without it, um, but we'll give it. It's worthwhile. Anyways, so we will uh, toss that off. We're going to point our rocket away. I actually have a video I didn't post where I actually bumped my satellite into. It bounced right off the rocket. And finally, we're going to, since we're pointing uh, opposite of our trajectory. We're going to shoot ourselves home. And so we're actually decelerating. And our satellite is just a tiny speck. And it is actually just going to continue. If you were to, if you were to track it, it would just continue around the Earth, Earth and around and around and around. And we're decelerating, and we're going to come back to uh, Earth. 
and that is how to put a saddle.